What's happening guys? So I'm going to take a new approach on this week. Uh, I'm going to try actually stay minimal carbs whatsoever. So what I'm going to do, you're probably going to freak out with what I'm going to tell you. It's another approach, it just sucks because there's no carbohydrates in it. It is pretty much close to ketosis, but what a lot of people do and the biggest mistakes that people do is drop their carbs, but don't pick anything else back up so they don't actually give themselves enough energy uh, and therefore they're actually putting themselves in a state of such deficit uh, that their body's actually freaking out and their leptin levels will drop dramatically and their body is going into starvation mode. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going from 2,800 to 3,000 calories. I'm gonna jack it right up to about 4,000 calories. But I'm gonna deplete my glycogen stores, all right? So where the carbs turns into glycogen and fills my muscle bellies, I'm gonna deplete that by minimizing all the carbohydrates I have uh, over the whole day. Um, so the only carbs I'm gonna have is my sweet potato. I'll have 100 grams before training and 100 grams after. So that's a total of uh, 40 grams of starchy carbs and the rest is gonna be vegetables. So I'll have a total of about 65 grams over the whole day and that's a drop from 200 grams. All right, so this is day one. I'm already feeling pretty good because obviously the fats are giving me energy. Guess what this means? <clears throat> so, as I said uh, on one of my last wanes, <coughs> uh, this cut hasn't actually gone to plan. But, I mean, if I wasn't logging it for you guys and actually trying to show everyone uh, for me doing it, uh, I'd be pretty pissed. Now, for the fact that I'm actually logging everything, I'm actually glad that it fucked up on me <laughs> in a weird way because now I kind of get to show you what I would do in this situation. Um, it's not really as frustrating uh, for me, I guess, because I know of how many options that I have available to me and how they all work, essentially, uh, to what route I can take to continue burning fat. So, my next approach to really speed up this process is keto. Um, I have never, ever, ever thought about going into a state of ketosis because I love my carbohydrates way too much but desperate times call for desperate measures and I guess I'm actually thinking that uh, the the fat log the fat log on a thousand grams of carbs a day and feeling sluggish towards the end it was a definite it was a bad signal uh, I should have actually probably slowed down towards the end but Hey, it was an addiction, it actually felt good, but I am, in a way I was justifying because I was getting fat for everyone, so I kept doing it. But what I actually think happened was I screwed up my insulin sensitivity and resistance, uh, which is actually what has skewed the results for this cutting log. All right, so I'm still sitting at about 10% now, which I'm pretty happy with, but I was actually hoping to get a lot lower. Now. I haven't really been counting my refeed days and I think they have definitely been a part of slowing my results. As I said, I wanted to keep it nice and cruisy because I wanted to show just the average person could do it. So in general speaking, yes, I did lose weight. I lost a crap load of fat, looking a lot leaner. I kept a lot of strength. So yes, in a way it's successful. In my head, the target I wanted to get to to show everyone I didn't achieve and that's what kind of pissed me off but in a way I'm still happy because now I get to log that be up front with you guys and actually say yep I fucked up and it actually didn't work out the way I wanted it to but this is how I'm gonna go about it and this is how I'm gonna go about it on keto so I've never done this before so it's as new to me as it is to you watching me I guess if you've done it feel free to hit us up and let me know how you went so for the past two days uh, the two days ago, it was relatively low carb. I reckon I would have been sitting on about 50 grams of carbs. Obviously up my fats. If you know what ketosis is, uh, it's pretty much where there's no glucose uh, in the system. You're depleting all your glycogen stores uh, of the carbohydrates. And a lot of people think, oh my God, you're gonna get <coughs> be so low on energy. Well, I think you forgot uh, that there is another fuel source. Well, there's actually another two. There's protein and fats as well. 
fat is a very calorie and energy dense nutrient so once the body actually gets used to burning fat well apparently it feels pretty good and you can not only shred like a mofo and get down to nice lean percentages but you actually feel good because your brain actually prefers to operate on ketones instead uh, which is a form uh, of molecule that gets produced by the liver all right, so once you're in that state or once you pass the adaption uh, phase of going into ketosis so this is i wouldn't call it two days ago the first day yesterday was the proper first day where i was sitting on about 20 grams of carbs and wow <clears throat> towards the end of the day uh i actually felt really weird i was actually kind of scared thinking like what the hell am I dying like everything seemed really bizarre I was pretty dizzy um, my throat started to itch as well like even tightening up I have been getting hay fever uh, so it could have been that as well um, everything was blocked up okay anyway so I thought maybe I was just tired from the day went to sleep uh, and woke up to go to the toilet uh, middle of the night I hadn't even drank anything um, which was kind of weird like before I went to bed so I don't know why uh, I had to go to the toilet but I did and when I woke up my eyes were dry as hell felt like I had sand in my eyes my throat was so dry I could hardly like separate my my lips everything was just happening I'm like okay well that must be uh, when you lower your carbohydrates obviously when insulin spikes up uh, sodium is retained in the kidneys for your what do you call it hydration so obviously lower carbs lower hydration uh, and I got real real dry not good and I just about fell over trying to get to the toilet I was bumping in the walls I was a bloody pinball going up and down the hallway trying to find the toilet finally made it back to bed didn't feel too bad this morning as soon as I got my first fatty meal in I was fine I'm actually feeling relatively okay now I think um, Energy is still a little bit low, not too foggy, I guess. But thought I'd definitely go pick these up just to make sure I was on the right track. And voila. So this measures, these are called die sticks, keto die sticks, like so. And <clears throat> you just pretty much pee on the strip or you pee in a container and then dip the uh, strip into the container. All right, so then there's your measurements that you align the stick with. So you want to get this one as low as you can so that's your glucose levels the top one and then you want to get this one as high as you can essentially purple i'm not too sure if i haven't actually looked up where you're supposed to be on there i'm sure it's closer to that end um but it's only i guess second day of proper keto and i'm ready onto that one so 1.5 or glucose is just traceable and my ketone levels is sitting at about 1.5 to 4 which I'm pretty happy with so obviously there's some ketone activity happening um, I'm pretty sure it's closer to the 1.5 I think to be in proper ketosis you're anywhere in between 1.5 and maybe 8 um, but apparently the whole adaption phase could take up to two weeks where you could feel uh, lethargic and low energy so yeah, we'll see how we go, and obviously I'll post up the results. I'm probably going to do this for another five weeks. All right, so the cut is going to be longer, but don't fret. I'm going to try shorten it as much as I can. Quick update on the ketosis adaption. Today I'm feeling absolutely wrecked. Um, this morning I woke up and was just so grumpy at everything. <laughs> like so low energy mood was not there uh, had two coffees um, with them uh, the coconut oil and butter and stuff so still following the diet <coughs> just had a workout before had some pre-workout that hardly pepped me up so from what I take it uh, the adaption process is literally your body is trying to form these new enzymes to break down the amount of fats that are going into your body so there's no carbs um, pretty much like everyone's entire life you've been digesting carbs so those enzymes are ready to break down carbs now there's no carbs in ketosis or hardly any so those enzymes don't have to be there in abundance um, 
because majority of our diets are pretty much carbohydrates. So when you go to ketosis and it's majority fats, you gotta have more enzymes to break down the fats. So that's pretty much what I take the, uh, the adaption process is. Your body's just taking a bit of time to create these enzymes so you can actually effectively burn the fat. Um, still doing the tests. So I've pretty much moved up Where are we? <clears throat> on the keto sticks. So the glucose levels is coming up with that one. So no glucose in the system, apparently. And I'm literally the second one from second last one. So it's that uh, eight. Uh, it's uh, definitely burning a lot of ketones. Um, but yeah, I was just reading up before. So this can also be off-putting. As soon as you've adapted, uh, your levels may actually come up close to this side. But all that means is that you're effectively using the ketones. So with these sticks that you actually pee on, uh, you're essentially peeing out excess ketones. So because my levels are up there, my body's not using them properly. So that all that, uh, that's all that means. But it's a good sign because I'm still in the first two weeks. So that means my body's trying. There is ketones uh, getting produced, but they're not getting used as energy. And that's why I'm feeling so sluggish. Um, and really just absolutely wrecked. So once I stick to it for a solid two weeks, the levels may come down, but that doesn't mean that you're getting any less uh, into ketosis. As long as those glucose levels are low, uh, if that goes low, it probably means uh, that you're effectively using the ketones and you'll probably feel good anyway. So that's a good sign. But as for now, I'm feeling pretty wrecked. Uh, I'll keep you posted. So just went to the Whole Food Merchants, see uh, how fancy they could get in terms of the whole no carb thing and I picked up some seasoned crispy seaweed snacks salt and vinegar check these things out it is thin as hell you can just about see through it <laughs> look at that shit but they're pretty damn good crunchy to perfection just tastes like salt and vinegar like a really <coughs> thin chip Yep, this morning definitely struggling. I'm eating seaweed. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's doing alright though. Nothing new that I uh, have uh, figured out yet of what I can have in terms of hitting that target under 30 gram of carb. Um, just yeah, high fat everything, and obviously with the fats, the uh, the calories accumulate really quick. So seaweed. I'm going to share with you this masterpiece I've just created. It is salmon. Is that easy? It is. I had some pre prep veggies before. The, got a bit of broccoli in there. About 150 grams of broccoli. Just this tin of salmon slices, about 22 grams of protein. No, it says no fats, but salmon's usually pretty high in fats. What do we got? Fats, 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 fats. One, one gram of fat. I'm skeptical about that anyway. Uh, so I'm going to add in my own source of fat as well, which is my. Where'd I put it? Oh. Yeah. Almond, Brazil nut, and cashews. So there's literally no other additives whatsoever. I was a bit skeptical on the carbs, I think a 20 gram serving has got 3.1 grams in it, so it's still nice and low. Smash that in, we've got 30 grams of almonds in there as well to spice up the, uh, the texture of the whole meal. And this thing is mint, mint. And as a bit of a treat, got some proteins, like protein chips are relatively low carb as well. I uh, treated myself with some dark dark chocolate sweetened up by stevia and some sugar completely sugar free pretty much free of everything just some bcaas that's literally all it is so i'll uh, probably chuck that into a drink of some sort that i can actually fit into the macros so it should be interesting so finally guys this is week eight at the very very end i'm pretty pumped with where i'm at at the moment so as i've said during the week 
Um, we didn't actually get to where I wanted to, around seven to eight percent, which I'm kind of disappointed about. But at the same time, I'm glad that I actually hit that uh, bump in the road, so I can pretty much explain to you guys my next step. All right. So the next step I'm going to take from here is, well, for one, I'm going to end the cutting log, the eight-week cutting log. So this is the results. I'm actually sitting just under ten. So I've got my obliques back, abs are showing just. I'm starting to get a little more vascular around the arms. So it's good, not as much love handles, which is awesome. But from now, I'm actually going to go into a state of ketosis. So I haven't actually done that before, so it's just as exciting to me as I guess it is uh, for you guys to witness me doing it. So I'm actually gonna log that as well. It's gonna be in a completely separate log. I'll pretty much be going through all the things, how to get into ketosis, how I'm feeling when I'm in ketosis. Apparently the first two weeks is absolutely dreadful. I'm actually already halfway through the two week period. Um, and yet, yeah, energy levels really down, mood down, trying to get work done. It is killing me, plus the, the workouts. Uh, I'll give you all the tips and stuff in the keto log, which is what I'm going to call it. All right, but this is it, guys. So I hope you've taken away a crap load of information, pretty much to get you on your way to your weight loss journey. Hopefully, I've given you enough tips, tricks, motivations, and just given you an insight to the ins and outs of what it takes to get in and go about your weight loss journey the most effective way. All right, so at the same time, it wasn't too tedious. Uh, I could have done it a lot more strict and maybe that's why I could have gotten better results. But at the same time, you know, this is for the general, I guess. I didn't want to go into stage or anything. So this is literally a nice cruisy uh, way to lose weight. All right, so make sure you go back, watch all the videos to get all the tips and follow it up by reading all the blogs. I've pretty much put up, uh, put up all the take home notes. So make sure you read all that to get everything. And if there's anything at all that I can do, please hit me up and I'll do my best to help you out. We can even organize a free strategy session, uh, a complete free call that goes for about half an hour. And we can literally plan out how we're gonna approach your weight loss journey completely free. So I'll give you free advice, free tips, a one-on-one -on -one session. All right, so just make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit me up either on Facebook or email or Instagram or any of our social media accounts. All right, hope you guys have enjoyed. This is it, the eight week cutting log. Till next time, I'll see you then. Hope you liked the video guys, jump across to our YouTube channel and give that a subscribe to keep up to date on our weekly motivation and tips to help you on your weight loss journey. Also take a look at the videos down below for some humor, some laughs and some free workouts and more motivation. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.